no crying. There's no crying in baseball. I cried all the way to Chicago. My dad said, you're going to be a ball player. So he bought me a bat and a ball and a glove. And uh, he would take me out in the, in the barnyard and he'd hit balls to me. And you know, sometimes I'd slide in the cow flops and be all messed up and carrying on. I'd say, I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore. Yes, you are, get right out there. Well, when I was in, in uh, college, I was five feet. By that time, I was a pretty good softball pitcher, you know, because I pitched for Crystalettes and we really played, you know, all over the country. So then the boys decided that, hey, we can use you on the baseball team. So I pitched for the boys, team downtown. And then one day we were playing and Max Carey, he came to the game and was sitting in the stands and he saw me pitch. So after the game, he says, young lady, he said, could I talk to you for a minute? So he said, how would you like to play for professional baseball out in Chicago? Oh, I said, no, I wouldn't be interested. Two days later, the uh, Dean of Women, she said, you're wanted on the telephone. And I was crying when I came out of the phone booth. I, they said, what's wrong? I said, my dad was contacted by that man that watched me pitch downtown. I said, and he's making me go to go away to play ball. He said, when I come home in two weeks, I'm going to get on the, on the train in Harrisburg and go to Chicago. He said, there's one thing that I have to let you know, you have to go to charm school and learn how to uh, sip coffee properly and uh, how to cross your legs properly and do things like that. The coach is there and he gave me a uniform. He says, here's the uniform. I said, is this the base baseball uniform? So I went upstairs, I put the uniform on and I thought, oh God, I can't believe that I'm right wearing this little skirt and these little socks and this little pink hat on my head. And I, I played every game uh, at second base. The second year, I made a triple play and we won the championship. But I did start the softball team at Reading High and the first year we lost. The second year, we ended up going to districts and we won three district championships in a row. My dad, he always instilled in me to do the best that you can be.